video is recording. So, in this video, we're going to talk about navigations and SOLIDWORKS. If you're a beginner and you don't know how to go around SOLIDWORKS, turn your model, make it full screen, zoom back, zoom in, look at it from different angles. Navigation is SOLIDWORKS for beginners. All right, so navigation is SOLIDWORKS for beginners. This is something really easy, so this video is going to be really short. Pay attention. There is zoom, there is drag, there is a couple of more. So for zooming, if you rotate the mouse wheel upwards, it will zoom back, zoom out. If you rotate it downwards, it will zoom in. Wherever you place your mouse cursor, it will zoom into that point. So this is the zooming part. Rotation is really easy. You can just press the middle mouse key in and start rotating your mouse like this. If you hold the control key on the keyboard when you do that, it changes into dragging mode. So again, on rotating with the keyboard, not with the mouse, your arrow key is actually, each press of an arrow key equals 15 degrees rotation in that uh, direction. If you hold the shift, however, and press the arrow key, it will turn into a 90 degrees rotation. Um, if you move your mouse on a specific solid part or a solid surface for that matter and press tab on the keyboard, it will hide that part. The part is not deleted, but it's hidden. And it's perfect for when you're working on a multi-body mode and the other parts are distracting your view. So you just hide them temporarily while you work on the other parts. Uh, Control Z to bring the part back. So, um, if you press the middle mouse key on a surface, edge, vertex, corner, doesn't matter, and then press it again, rotate it, you will rotate the part around the axis of that surface or vertex you have used, depending on what you choose, actually. If I select this curve over here, it becomes purple, and I press the middle mouse key again, and then this time, it will rotate on the axis of that cylindrical surface, which is highlighted. If you press W on the keyboard, you will exit uh, your window, your it will close actually. If you press R, it will give you the recent documents you have used. If you press G, it will give you a magnifying loop and you can zoom in and zoom out within that loop. If you press F, it will bring back your parts and put it on the screen, makes it full screen, especially when you're working in a very large mode and you're focusing on a very small detail sometimes when you rotate it because the distance between the bigger parts and the small detail is so vast and then when you rotate it it just goes out of the frame and you will lose your part so pressing f is the best thing it also works during the sketch um, it also works during the drawing mode um, control q control b are actually the same shortcut for rebuilding. When you're working on a sketch, you want to exit this sketch and save your sketch. You just have to rebuild uh, your uh, sketch either by pressing Control B, Control Q, or actually, if I want to show you, if you have an open sketch like this, you can just press here on this arrow key, which is also rebuilt, or again on this red light over here. So that would be this. If you want to switch back within two windows, because I have this line open and I have that tank part open on the other window, I hold the control key down and press tab on the keyboard. If I can hold the control key, I see all the, then I see all the open windows I have, or I just can let go, it will just automatically jump to the next window. If I press spacebar on the keyboard, it gives me a menu with all the angles that I need. Top, front, right, left, button, views, as well as isometric, dimetric, and trimetric views. You can see it here. Then it gives me the normal two uh, view, which is also the equivalent of control plus eight on your keyboard. But sometimes you need to define normal to what? So you have to select a specific um, plane or surface or whatever to change the angle normal to that. Again, pressing the spacebar, some people face a cube like this. A cube that has a lot of sides. Let me count on it. So you have four, six, another four, another four, eight, 14, plus another four, 
18 sides. This cube has 18 sides. You can press on either of these sides and it will change and shift the view and makes it normal to that side. So if I take this corner side, it gives me a preview on the top right corner of Cyrus. I just click on it, it will rotate it into that angle. I hate it, so I always um, disable this cube here. I, I'm used to working with the mouse, so that's your call. You also have these four options, single mode view, uh, two view horizontal, two view vertical, like this. You can have two different views, either right or front, or, or you can switch it to top or front. Or you can have a four, um, four view, uh, top, front, right, plus parametric, or a 3D for that matter. You can just change it. doesn't have to be that way. And it's perfect for when you're working on a 3D curve. But um, since this is a beginner course, I'm not going to get into details. Just to let you know, there are sometimes curves, a 3D curve in the space, and you want to drag it into the X direction, and you don't want to change it uh, in the Y or Z direction. So you, it's really critical that you look at it from that specific angle. So by the time you drag it to the right, you're not dragging it to the right and up or down at the same time. Jibber jabber, forget it. So this was the basic navigation in SOLIDWORKS, short video as I promised, I'm gonna just upload short videos from now on. If you're interested into learning more about SOLIDWORKS and having tutorials to follow, I actually provide weekly tutorials on my uh, website, solidworkstutorials.net. Uh, you need to sign up there, there is a membership, different tutorials are available to, for different members. And um, you also get to ask all of your questions there, I can just write you an email, explain to you how it, things work or solve your problem. Uh, just make sure to visit the website if you haven't and subscribe to this channel if you think these videos are helpful for you. Boom!